Hello and welcome to What the Flick. Oscar nominations out today. Ben Mankiewicz, Matt Atchity, Christy Lemire, Alonzo is uh, on a plane to Sundance and I look like a young Republican. You do. What time is your debate? Yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah. You wear a tie. I feel like I have right. to take you seriously. The fallacy <laughs> of income inequality, Matt and Christy, <laughs> is that as long as we continue to give the job makers money, they will... All right. um, Not an Oscar nomination. It's an Oscar points. nomination. No, but, but you know what it is? Is Johnny Knoxville and <laughs> Bad Grandpa. Right. So, yeah, so Jackass presents Bad Grandpa Oscar nominee. Forever. Yeah. In the my makeup favorite. category. This is my favorite my favorite nomination of the day is that it got into the, the makeup category, which Norbit was also in about five yes. years ago. So anyway. Like we should talk about other news though, right? Like Gravity and American Hustle are what? Our two most nominated? Is that it? They both got uh, the most? American Hustle has ten nominations, Gravity has ten nominations, Twelve Years of Slave has nine. nine. Um, a very competitive year this year. Uh, and yet yeah. Only nine movies up for Best Picture. Yeah, so they make, this, they make this big change, what, in 2008? Yeah. Right? To expand from five to as many as ten, not from five to ten. And there's obviously some flaw in this system because uh, I like the idea and have argued for it. To, you, you know, we're obsessed with the round numbers. Everything's five, ten, twenty. Like, there's no reason for that. There's nothing wrong with eight, right? There's nothing wrong with 17. Um, but we're trained not to think that way. But in this case, when everyone acknowledges and clearly, this was a this is a we had a really nice year. Mm -hmm. These were good movies. There are more than ten movies that perhaps could have been nominated. Right. So you got to have a system where somehow you probably get to ten because we'd have a tenth nominee. And a lot of movies that a lot of pundits have been talking about. You know, if you you look at, I mean, we should go through the best picture list. Why don't you do that? Um, Twelve <laughs> Years a Slave, uh, American Hustle, Captain Phillips, Dallas Buyers Club, Gravity, Her, Nebraska. Philomena, not Philomania, which I still want to see. <laughs> I still suffer uh, from. <laughs> and The Wolf of Wall Street. So some notable omissions there. Uh, Inside Lewin Davis. Inside Lewin Davis. No Lee Daniels the Butler. No Fruitvale Station. Mm. No Saving Mr. Banks, which I was convinced was going to get a nomination. I think we all were. We all walked out of that saying, this is total Oscar bait. Right. Yep. And yeah. no All is Lost. Right. No. Yeah. But you have Dallas Buyers Club, which got some momentum in the past few weeks. You have Matthew McConaughey and Jared Leto both being nominated. I think Screenplay right. also, maybe Screenplay. It got like six nominations total. Yeah. I was also surprised no Blue is the Warmest Color making it into the Best Picture race. Was that because a lot of people talked about that. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Was that France's entry? It was not, but it still could have come in could it? For Best Picture. Even oh, Best Picture, Best Picture, yes, yes, yes. Right, yes, yes. It, was okay. not there, okay. it was not the official entry for yeah. France, for foreign mm -hmm. language, but it did not make it into the Best Picture race, see, which see, we I saw see. a more do last year. Right. And no, I, not a, a huge surprise, but and no Blue Jasmine, as long as we're talking about the things that begin right. with Blue. But it got Kate Blanchett, and it got yeah. Sally Hawkins, and it got Scream No, but, but just to focus on, 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 like, yeah, on like yeah. why there isn't a tenth movie when we've just named eight movies for which no one would say, I can't believe that piece of crap got right. nominated. Like, they're right. all... They weren't, none of the ones we mentioned would have a chance to win, but that's not what we're talking about. Is there a 10th movie worthy of a nomination? And there are eight worthy of that 10th nomination. So there's, there's some flaw in that process. If I had to pick one, yeah. um, I was going to uh, pick uh, All Is Lost, mm -hmm. uh, which I think is just a worthy, solid uh, endeavor. Uh, but I'll, I, I'll change it because I'd forgotten how much, I, how much Fruitvale Station uh, matter. Now, I mean, I would pick Francis Ha before any of them, but nobody was talking about Francis Ha. So, of the ones that probably were on the next level, I'd go with Fruitvale Station. I love Fruitvale Station too. I would say Inside Lewin Davis. Um, I, again, was most surprised about Saving Mr. Banks not making mm -hmm. it in. Um, that, uh, I, I uh, as far some, as surprise, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, yeah. I think some of the late controversy and some of the backlash about the Disney story probably hurt it. Uh, and probably hurt its chances because you've got people like Meryl Streep and oh, yeah. you know <laughs> the the relative of the Disney family saying, oh yeah, you know this was a problem, and I think that that probably hurt it. 